hi guys welcome back to my channel today i want to talk about peacock palant the peacock palant also known as calatia macuyana is a beautiful tropical house palant they do take a little bit of work to keep in good condition so watch this video to learn all you need to know about peacock palant care It's used to the shade of large trees and indirect filtered light. To make your Calatia happy, you will have to recreate this kind of light as your home. Find the right spot in your home with bright indirect sunlight. North or east facing windows are the best. Direct sun will burn the leaves and too little light will slow its growth. Finding the right balance is the key. If you want to keep your macuana in the room with too much direct light, place the plant away from the window, shield it with light curtains, or place it behind other plants uh, that tolerate more light. If it is not getting enough light, the leaves will grow smaller, the patterns will be less vivid or the leaves will grow apart from each other. It's crucial for tropical Calatia that the temperature remains constant. The ideal temperature should be between 65 and 85 Fahrenheit and should never drop below 65 Fahrenheit. Avoid cold draft. Creating an environment with high humidity for your Calatia Macuana is as important for its uh, continuous health as consistent temperature and indirect bright light. You need to provide humidity of 60% or higher. If you keep a humidifier in the room where your colatal lives, you can easily control its humidity. If not, you can place the pot on a tray filled with pebbles and water. It's also a good idea to group calatias and other plants that love high humidity. You will know that your calatia is not getting enough humidity when its leaf tips turn brown. It's recommended to feed your uh, calatia every two or three weeks during its active growth. You can use chemical or organic fertilizer. Calatia macuana requires a high nitrogen fertilizer to avoid brown spots on the leaves or fading off its remarkable patterns. A fertilizer of MPK-312 is ideal. Too much phosphorus would create brown spots on the leaves. Consistent fertilizing with chemical fertilizer will create an accumulation of salts in the soil. Water your calatia before applying fertilizer or you will burn the roots. The best time to repot calatia macuana is in spring and fall. Every two years or when you see that the pot is full of roots, use a pot one size larger than the old one. Remove the old soil and cut off any damaged roots. Place the plant in its new pot and fill it with fresh soil. Water your calatia thoroughly and give it extra humidity and less light for a while until it recovers from repotting and you see the new growth. Calatia macuana does not require much pruning, just remove damaged and old leaves. Pinch the new girls back uh, to encourage your Calatia's compact girls. When your Calatia Macriana grows big enough, you will want to propagate it. Like other Calatias, Macriana is propagated but root division. The natural time to do this is during repotting. Ideally in spring when the plant is waking up and getting ready for active growth. Look for the natural separation of roots and separate them with their attached leaves. Plant each new calatia in its own pot. Ensure that they have extra high humidity to recover 
from the traumatic procedure. Very, very thank you for watching me. Have a great day. Bye.